G'day guys, welcome back to the channel to this video where today I'm going to talk about quartz watches, my top five reasons why you may choose to wear a quartz watch. Now this is a follow-up from an earlier video where I spoke about mechanical automatic watches and this is just to show that I'm not biased either way. I'm just going to lay it out there for you guys to consider why you may choose a quartz watch. So my top five reasons starting from number one, uh, accuracy, sheer accuracy. Uh, you know, a basic quartz oscillation watch will outdo just about any mechanical uh, typical ratings for quartz watch at plus or minus 15 seconds a month. Uh, typical ratings for mechanical watch, we're talking about plus or minus, you know, 10, 20 seconds a day, really even chronometers, minus four plus six seconds a day for chronometers. Uh, high quality quartz watches, you know, in my experience, plus or minus five seconds a month. Uh, and, you know, even the higher rated quartz watches, for example, that Bulova that I reviewed a while back, it's talking about plus or minus 15 seconds a year, you know, incredible accuracy that you get from quartz. And, you know, I tell you what, if you can get a watch that is a GPS atomic sync um, or terrestrial antenna uh, atomic sync, you know, that's going to be absolutely accurate whenever you get a time signal. You know, just as an example, uh, here's, uh, you know, a, a model from Seiko. This is my Kutura Solar Perpetual Calendar. Uh, and this one has uh, terrestrial antenna syncing. Whenever you're in an area with a signal, it is going to be absolutely accurate. You don't even, you know, need to talk about plus or minus seconds, really. You were talking about atomic time syncing. Uh, as as accurate as that computer desktop really we're talking about. Number two, technology. And by that, I'm talking about the sheer amount of features that you can squeeze into a quartz module. Um, you know, just as an example, here's a wristwatch check. I'm wearing my Casio ProTrek PRW6100. This is a triple sensor watch, you know. So, you know, it's got altimeter, barometer, compass, temperature, is there a mechanical watch that does that? I don't know. Maybe there is, even if it was possible. Well, this watch also has atomic time sync. It, it's got terrestrial antenna syncing. So there's no mechanical watch that does that. So, so it, you know, I guess if you take it out to high-end quartz, it is absolutely impossible for a mechanical to achieve some of what a quartz movement can achieve. Number three design audacity um, you know and by that i'm talking about just the, the layouts that you can achieve with quartz movements that might be very very difficult to do with mechanical um, i guess if you were more inclined to uh, casual watches you know just the design colors that you can get this is my ga 110 in layered neon blue and yellow uh, not likely to get something like that in mechanical uh, and, and then if you talk about digital displays, full digital displays, just the, the things that you can achieve, well, you know, mechanicals won't be able to uh, give you some of that. Yes, they don't have the classiness, uh, the craft of mechanical watches, but in terms of what they can achieve with their displays, uh, that, you know, that is beyond what you can look for in the mechanical, what you can possibly achieve with mechanical watchmaking. All right, number four, toughness. Now, uh, in my reading, um, quartz watches are tougher than mechanical watches. You know, you can drop a quartz watch, uh, you know, say a meter or so, and likelihood is you won't have any problems. If you drop a mechanical watch, well, you could actually put out a part. You could put out a, a hairspring. I've had that happen to my watches where I've accidentally dropped them uh, where you know the timing mechanism have, has gone off and it, it's it's running off in terms of its timekeeping, much less likely to happen with a quartz watch. In terms of magnetism, well, yes, you can actually stop an automatic watch from working properly. You can magnetize the watch and then you have to uh, demagnetize it, which you know can be a costly process. With quartz watches, you know even uh, analog watches, uh, you know with uh, second hands, uh, well you can potentially stop a second hand motor from running in the magnetic field in a quartz watch. But the, the good news is once you move out of the magnetic field, uh, the quartz watch will go back to normal timekeeping. It, it doesn't have any long term uh, effects. That's my understanding. So it, it really doesn't get affected by magnetic fields in any uh, long-term way. Moving on, 
number five value and by that I mean value for function more function for your money in quartz watches you know just take some examples if you find two watches that come in both a mechanical and a quartz version with exactly the same exterior well the quartz is going to be cheaper it is cheaper to make a quartz movement for a watch the, the Omega Seamaster Professional uh, is an I guess we're very well known example of that you know coming early in the production run in the late 90s it came in both a quartz and a mechanical version the quartz was a cheaper version if you take it further on in terms of function well okay two examples perpetual calendars uh, or automatic calendars in quartz watches I guess you would call them not perpetual right you can you can get a $10 Casio F91W that has an automatic calendar if you want a perpetual calendar in a mechanical watch you are talking about thousands and thousands of dollars in you know, a true perpetual calendar I, I, I don't know what's the cheapest one but I wouldn't be surprised if you're looking at five figures uh, for a perpetual calendar mechanical watch right take another example stopwatches or chronographs in mechanical speak um, one one thousandth of a second well you know yes uh, Tag Heuer were famous for making a micro timer I believe that that was able to actually measure one one thousandth of a second in a fantastic feat of engineering but you know look at quartz watches well you know you can pick up you know say my, my GA 110 um, you know one one thousandth of a second no problem you know uh, range man um, G-Shock range man uh, one one hundredth of a second immediate start button no problem you know if you talk about wanting to equate that in uh, terms of mechanical watches again thousands and thousands of dollars so you know that's my thought that's my top five reasons why I may choose to wear a quartz watch let me know what you think I'm very you know keen to hear your thoughts about this guys if you appreciate my videos uh, do consider subscribing I'm learning new things all the time about horology and I present it right here on the channel aiming to be unbiased and objective thank you again for watching and i will see you next time